what is going on guys is actually here welcome back to another world video now i don't want to get soppy or anything but i really do apologize for not uploading for the past month uh i could have done i really could have done uh a, a lot more wars videos uh in that past month but uh, let's not get soppy about it let's just move on for, from it and hopefully i will be more consistent from now on uh but yeah um, I'm going to be reviewing the Boxing Day fixture yesterday between Fulham and Wolves, which ended in a 1-0 draw at Craven Cottage. And I've got to put it out there. The first half performance was really uh, just appalling, really. Against a team like Fulham, who we should be comfortably beating, really, uh, they do have Claudio Ranieri in charge now instead of uh, Slavisa Jakanovic, who uh, guide them to the uh, player final victory. Um, last season, um, and I've got to put it out there. Um, I've got to put it out there. Our first half performance was appalling, really. It doesn't matter uh, whether it's Savisa or Yakanovic in charge or Claudio Ranieri in charge. It's still a Fulham side who still leak goals. Even under Claudio Ranieri, they still do leak goals. And I've got to say, um, I I've got to say they did perform well. They did perform that well. They took they took advantage. Uh, of our poor performance, um, and uh, they, uh, a couple of opportunities, Mitrovic could have scored. He hasn't really been the shining light this season, uh, as Fulham have struggled to score. Uh, although going into this game, they had only scored three fewer goals than us, so that just shows um, uh, how how um, how not potent uh, we are in front of goal. Um, and it just shows, obviously, our desperate need for a striker. But, uh, anyway, yeah, um, uh, coming into coming into this game, I could see a lot of goals, but that didn't really show because their defence was quite solid. We only managed to open up their defence a couple of times in the first half, which was really uh, shocking for us. Uh, we did much better in the second half. I'll come on to that in a minute, but, yeah, that... On a couple of occasions, they could have really scored, and uh, and Mitrovic could have grabbed a couple, uh, but they just didn't really take their chances. And going into half time, I was thinking, oh, come on, surely, come on, bring Ruben Neves on. Like he he would shore up in midfield, uh, um, but Nuno didn't, and he brought on. Uh, in the second half, he brought on Vanagra, Costa, and Cavalero. And Cavalero was actually really good when he came on the second half. Um, one of the only shining lights, really, um, in the whole in the whole game for us. Um, it it, it wasn't that too good of a performance. Um, we've definitely uh, got to do better against Spurs because they, they uh, later on they netted five against Bournemouth. So we definitely got to do better. But but. Ivan Cavalera was definitely uh, one of the only shining lights in that performance. Uh, and when he came on in the second half, he was really brilliant. Uh, carved open a, a couple of opportunities. And actually really caused Fulham uh, a few problems, you know. Um, using his skills uh, and, and crossing as well. Uh, his crossing is actually quite good. And he, he uh, presented a, f a few chances, a couple of heading chances, I think, for uh, Real Jimenez. Um just a, a bit unlucky that he put it. Up, he didn't put it away. But yeah, the equaliser. Uh, we had been uh, quite solid in the actually in the second half for for about twenty minutes. About tw about a twenty minute period in the second half, we were really solid in the second half. Um, and uh, the goal that we actually scored from uh, Romain Saiz was actually really scrappy, and it was a really horrible tap in. But when you've been playing well for um. For a large portion of the second half, like twenty minutes of the second half, you'd be doing all right. You need that kind of look, and um, when you're one nil down as well, um, it was well over the line there, goal anyway. Um, yeah, uh, really unfortunate because we we were playing well, and then they just hit us. Um, they just hit us on the counter, and uh, they got those on the line. Then they were leading, and then uh, we. Uh, we got a scrappy goal through Romain Saez, but I think we deserve that because we were playing better in the second half. We're definitely playing a lot better than we did in the first half. And when v Ruben Villagra came on uh, for a short stint as well, he was actually um, quite good as well. Substitutions, 
Uh, apart from Helder Costa, who wasn't uh, too influential to the performance in the second half. But, yeah, I, I, I do think we, we played a lot better uh, for a large majority of the second half. And, in some ways, we were unlucky not to win. But, um, considering the circumstances, and Fulham were actually playing pretty well, uh, we were actually... Uh, we we actually got lucky um, to to come away with a point, and I feel like it's a good point earned because we could have actually lost the game right at the very end uh, with uh, Cody's clearance off the line. I was literally holding my breath then. I was literally holding my breath. I was saying, "Please, just clear it on the line, come on!" Because when when uh, Mitrovic chipped it over uh, Patricia, I was just fearing the worst. But then Cody and Bolly, they almost. They they almost uh, could have been masters of their own downfall by uh, clashing into each other, uh, and then uh, presenting the goal to Mitrovic uh, with the winner um, in in any time. But yeah, thankfully Cody just about uh, about it was about a foot off the line, uh, and he managed to uh, scrape it off the line. But yeah. Um, a good point earned in the end, and hopefully we'll, we will perform better against Spurs on Saturday. Uh, we should do anyway, otherwise we'll get absolutely walloped, uh, like Bournemouth, uh, like Bournemouth did, uh, 5-0. So, yeah, we've definitely got to play better. We've definitely got to play better against the smaller teams, and I think Nuno needs to figure out a system, uh, that hopefully works against the smaller teams like Fulham, uh, and Cardiff, that we can... Because we obviously we can't play our fantasy football because the lower teams will f- obviously in the league obviously uh, figure us out and they, they'll stop us from from playing our normal game and obviously the top teams they ju- they just uh, they 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 come in overconfident because obviously they've got all the caliber of players like Chelsea have obviously like um, uh, they've got. Uh, they've got uh, young players like Loftus Cheek. They've got Kante in midfield as well. Uh, loads of uh, brilliant players, and they came to Molineux, obviously uh, riding high on confidence. And they thought, "Oh, this has been a stroll in the park," and look what happened there. So we do have some hope because we do play against uh, we do play well against the the better teams. And we came close uh, to to drawing and even winning against Spurs um, in early November uh, in the reverse fixture at Molineux. So. Hopefully we can get a result out of that, um, but yeah, we've got to play much better because Spurs, they weren't at their best um, uh, in that game um, in early November, but now they've fully turned on the power. They're second, they're second in the table behind Liverpool. Obviously, Man City have lost uh, as well. They've lost three out of the last four games, so that's presented uh, Spurs the chance that which they've gladly accepted uh, to go to second place just behind Liverpool. So they're well in the title race now, actually. Um, uh, up neck and neck with Liverpool now in second. So, yeah, it's definitely a much tougher game uh, on Saturday, but hopefully we can get a result out of it. So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy my review. If you did, make sure to smash that like button uh, for more uh, consistent uploads, hopefully, from now on. Yeah, I'll see you on Sunday with a review of the Spurs game. Until then, goodbye, guys!